Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and we've got our update for Wednesday, April 24th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in baseball in just a moment. Uh, first, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, cool way to do it, you click on the link below this video and get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com or anybody else's for that matter on the site. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. Get set up for a free $60 account. Give DocSports.com a real cool trial run. Uh, recapping what we did yesterday before getting to today's card, uh, it was a good day. We uh, cashed a seven-unit main event total in the NBA. We had over between the Raptors and Magic. That was the big seven-star play. We lost the two-star play on the Spurs, but still on a nice 80% run in the NBA. As far as baseball was concerned, we won our uh, short dog with the Arizona Diamondbacks. They got the win over Pittsburgh as they continue uh, to dominate the Pittsburgh Pirates. And in the NHL, listen, we were gifted a win last night. Uh, we did have over between the Sharks and the Golden Knights. No way that one goes over the total unless you had that bogus, shitty call uh, with about, oh, 10 minutes or so left in the game and Vegas in complete and under control up 3 nothing over San Jose. San Jose was skating like they knew they were a beaten team. And I got to tell you, it's the worst call I've ever seen in a hockey game, playoffs or otherwise. And uh, it cost us the series. We did release the series with Vegas before it began on these videos. Uh, so we did lose the series. The good news, I guess, the silver lining, if you will, uh, was the over the total of six that we did cash, uh, but all because of that bogus call. So listen, the total would have never got there. The series uh, looked like a, a pretty good winner with 10 minutes to go in the game, and Vegas was completely in control. And the shame about it is, and if you watch the playback and you watch some of the still photos taken during the game, not a single official saw what happened on the faceoff that put Pavelski on the ice. Not a single official. It was a it was a complete reaction after Pavelski ended up hitting his head on the ice and cut his head. They saw the blood right away, game misconduct, five-minute power play, and uh, they score four goals. Now, you can say that Vegas should have stopped uh, a couple of those goals, and you would be right in saying that, but it completely changed uh, the flow of the game, the momentum of the game, and as far as I'm concerned, the team that would have won the series. Uh, again, tough way to end a season if you're the Vegas Golden Knights, but I guess Golden Knight fans should consider that. Uh, growing pains. Got to go through the rough days and the rough seasons and the rough endings sometimes like other teams and other fan bases have across the NHL uh, before you get to pound your chest and hoist the Stanley Cup. And listen, as far as what they've done in their first two seasons, getting to the finals last year, all but winning game or round one this year, you got to get your hats off to the entire organization from George McPhee right on down. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Enough of that. We uh, did, like I said, cash the over as far as that was concerned last night. And uh, again, one in the NBA, picking up another five units. One in baseball, picking up five units there. That was a five unit, by the way. So listen, our NBA run now stands at 27 and 12. That's 69%. And because we picked up the five units, winning the seven unit, losing the two unit, picked up about 4.8 units, uh, we are now up over $4,800 during this current run for those wagering just $100 per unit. And the cool thing is, one of Wednesday's two games happens to be a seven-unit play. Now, last night, we won the seven-unit total, but tonight, it's a seven-unit side in Wednesday's NBA. We haven't had a whole lot of seven-unit plays over the course of the NBA season, uh, but we got this one going on Wednesday night. Very happy to have a top play in the NBA going on Wednesday. It'll be available on WednesdayMorningDocSports.com. One play in the NBA, seven-unit side. Don't miss out as we look to extend the run to 28 and 12, go up over $5,500 for those wagering just $100 per unit. Got to play in Major League Baseball on Wednesday. It is a five-unit play. And again, you're not talking about laying a price here. Uh, it, it's a situation that we like on Wednesday's card. We like the pitching matchup. It's undervalued. We like the hitting matchup. We feel it's undervalued. We like the bullpen situation. We feel it's all undervalued. So five-unit play in baseball, seven-unit side of the NBA. And uh, NHL, we do have a small play, a slap shot play on Wednesday uh, for the lone NHL game. So let's go 3-0 on a Wednesday and continue the red-hot streak. I'm going to get to the free pick in just a moment. Wanted to mention, uh, with this being as late as it is, I'm behind by about an hour and a half here uh, with this video going into Wednesday. Uh, we're going to do two NFL 
uh, rundowns or previews, if you will, talking about wins totals on Thursday's video. I'm going to skip today, talk about two NFL games on, uh, excuse me, two NFL teams on Thursday's video when we give you our next free pick for Thursday. So be sure to check back for that one. Yesterday, of course, if you didn't see it, go check it out. We talked about the Chiefs and their upcoming season with the lean on under 10 and a half wins. We gave you the reasons why. But anyway, going to skip the NFL today and have two NFL teams on tomorrow, Thursday's video. So be sure to check back for that. I would say around 4.30 a.m., 1.30, 4.30 a.m. Eastern, 1.30 a.m. Pacific time when we post Thursday's video. Let's get to our free, play, free pick for Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to go back to the, uh, the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm going to back them with Kelly over Pittsburgh and Lyles. Arizona's just dominating the Bucks. And uh, listen, we like them in this particular spot. The bullpens are basically even on the season. Uh, you got a much better hitting team in the Arizona Diamondbacks. Even though they only scored two runs yesterday, they did pick up the win. And they're averaging about five runs per game on the season. They've had nine games on the road against right-handers, and they fared pretty well. They fared better than Pittsburgh has at home against right-handers thus far. They've had eight of those games. And even going back to last year, Pittsburgh at home in night games against righties, they average less than four runs per game. You've got Arizona winning their last two games. We'd like them to make it three straight here. So our free pick is going to be the Arizona Diamondbacks with Kelly over Lyles on Wednesday. All right, listen, again, uh, don't forget you can get that free $60 account. Start by clicking on the link below the video. Get yourself set up for that free $60 account. You can use it on my daily picks over at DocSports.com. And don't forget, we got the big seven-unit main event side going in Wednesday's NBA. We look to extend the run to 28-12. and 12. All right, that's going to do it for me for today. Be sure to click on that thumbs up uh, if you do enjoy these videos. And uh, also be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. And by the way, tune in to Mad Dog Radio, uh, Sirius XM, about uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific on Wednesday night. I'll be on with my weekly uh, chat with Patrick Maher, Mad Dog Radio, Sirius XM, tonight, Wednesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Be right back here Thursday around 4.30 a.m. Eastern time, 1.30 a.m. Pacific. I'm Scott Sprott at DocSports.com. Let's put Tuesday in the win column. Or Wednesday in the win column. There you go. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>